Welcome to Production Pulse USA, the channel where we bring you the most in-depth reviews and detailed insights into the world of defense technology, modern warfare systems, and cutting-edge military hardware. Today we turn our focus on one of the most iconic and widely used air-to-ground weapons in the world, the AGM-11 for Hellfire missile, a system that has been continuously upgraded and perfected for decades and now stands in 2026 as a benchmark for precision strike capability and battlefield effectiveness. This missile is not just a weapon, it is a symbol of accuracy, lethality, and reliability in combat operations across the globe. The AGM-11 for Hellfire was originally developed to counter heavily armored targets, particularly tanks and fortified positions, but over the years its role has expanded far beyond its initial purpose. By 2026, the Hellfire has evolved into a highly versatile missile system capable of engaging a wide range of targets including enemy vehicles, bunkers, ships, low-flying helicopters, and even unmanned aerial threats. Its adaptability is one of the main reasons why it remains an active service in so many armed forces and continues to see upgrades that keep it relevant in modern combat environments. One of the defining characteristics of the Hellfire missile is its precision guidance technology. The 2026 versions of the AGM-11 for utilize advanced semi-active laser guidance, as well as millimeter wave radar seekers depending on the variant. This dual mode guidance gives operators the ability to strike targets in all weather conditions, day or night, even through smoke, dust, or battlefield clutter. The laser guided variant requires a designator to illuminate the target, ensuring pinpoint accuracy with minimal collateral damage while the radar-guided version allows fire and forget capability, making it extremely useful in fast-paced combat, situations where reaction time is critical. Another important feature of the Hellfire system is its warhead versatility. Over the years, engineers have developed multiple warhead types for different mission profiles. By 2026, these include high-explosive anti-tank warheads for piercing through modern composite and reactive armor, Blast fragmentation warheads for engaging soft targets and personnel. Thermobaric warheads designed for caves, bunkers, or enclosed spaces, and multi purpose variants that combine several effects into a single missile. This modularity ensures that the AGM 114 can be deployed effectively in diverse battlefields, whether in open desert combat, urban warfare, or maritime security operations. The missile's compact size and relatively lightweight construction make it highly adaptable to a wide range of platforms. The Hellfire can be launched from helicopters such as the Apache and Seahawk, fixed-wing aircraft like drones including the MQ-9 Reaper, as well as ground-based vehicles and naval ships. This wide platform compatibility means that military forces can deploy the same missile across different branches, reducing logistics complexity and ensuring standardized precision strike capability across air, land, and sea domains. In terms of performance, the AGM-11 for Hellfire maintains a speed of Mach 1, 3 with an effective range that has been gradually extended through modern upgrades. By 2026, some advanced versions can engage targets at ranges beyond 12 kilometers, giving operators safe standoff distance while still ensuring devastating accuracy. The missile's reliability is another key factor, with a proven track record. In real combat scenarios ranging from counterinsurgency operations to high-intensity conflicts, the 2026 Hellfire has also incorporated digital upgrades to integrate with modern battlefield networks, advanced targeting systems, improved fire control integration, and enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures make it a more survivable and dependable weapon in an era where electronic warfare is becoming a central part of conflict. The combination of speed, precision, modular warheads, and platform flexibility ensures that the AGM-11 for continues to be a cornerstone of U.S. and allied strike capabilities well into the future. When discussing global impact, it is clear that the Hellfire has become one of the most exported and widely used missiles in the world. More than 30 countries operate this system, and in 2026 it continues to be a preferred choice for nations seeking reliable and battle-proven strike capability. Its effectiveness has been demonstrated in multiple conflicts, from targeted counter-terrorist operations to conventional warfare, making it not just a technological achievement, but also a strategic asset dot as militaries worldwide adapt to new threats including drone swarms, asymmetric warfare, and urban combat scenarios. 
The Hellfire missile's evolution ensures it remains relevant. Its combination of versatility, adaptability, and proven success makes it a vital part of the modern arsenal and a prime example of how long-standing weapons can stay ahead of the curve. Through consistent innovation, that concludes our detailed review of the AGM-114 Hellfire missile as it stands in 2026. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the most important weapons of our time and want to stay updated on the latest military technology, global defense systems, and future warfare analysis, make sure to subscribe to Production Pulse USA, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update.